Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Today we are taking a look at Choro Q Park on the Sega Saturn. Yeah, now this is a Japanese only game from Takara, came out in 1998, and it's a weird take on a racing game. Now, I haven't actually played it before, and I've read that the menus are quite difficult to get through, so uh, this might take a while. Well, I hope none of this is important. I mean, if that's it, then... <laughs> the internet has led me very wrong, because that wasn't hard at all. <laughs> I didn't even really do anything apart from push a few buttons. Oh, hold on. We're not quite there yet. Uh, so... I don't know... Right, okay, that's something. Let's try clicking on that. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're not, we weren't quite there. <laughs> is this getting into a race? Oh, it is, we're in a race. Right, so here we go. So it's quite a, uh, is it, um, I don't know, it's the A button. I think. I'm not actually control. Okay, I'm not controlling it. So what's going on? <laughs> what's is this something I'm supposed to be doing? Or uh. <laughs> I'm not controlling this at all, so I don't know what's going on. Alright, I think this is explaining the game. So, yeah, so anyway, the game is like a, a relay race, so you've got three cars and you have to swap to each car as you get to a point. I don't know exactly what that adds to the game, but I guess we'll find out. Um... Right, so that was tutorial mode. That's... yeah, okay. I'm now starting to see what they meant about the menus. How do we just have a race? I think I've got I think I finally got it. That took a ridiculously large amount of time. <laughs> yep, it's me. I am driving it. Badly. But I'm still driving it. <laughs> yeah, that was... Um, yeah, uh, it's hidden. Like, the bit that looked like it was tutorial, because that's all it did. And that's what the symbol seemed to suggest. Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> It was it was the bit where you start the race, so yeah. <laughs> oh blimey! Oh, I tell you what, for the Saturn, this is it's nice graphics. The music's a bit insane, but not too bad. Um, yeah, it's nice. And, it's it's interesting. It's certainly an interesting game, uh, and it controls really well. Actually, it's. <laughs> Maybe it's not gonna. Um, oh no, you can't go. I was wondering if you got there. It looked like there was like a secret route, but there wasn't. 
I mean, it's not. Oh, why aren't we? This car is. Why is this car? Oh, it's manual. Oh, right. <laughs> that car was manual. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think this is just a, ooh, I think this is kind of a tutorial lesson because we're not. I think we'd uh, we're just doing like a time attack kind of thing. But yeah, okay. I imagine that was a terrible time. <laughs> no, I, I don't need. Yeah, I don't need a replay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, it took a long time to get through the menus. I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to keep because I look like an idiot doing it. But uh, if I don't keep all of it, just know it was it took a long time. <laughs> oh, now this is red. So, is this now a is this now a proper race? Is that what this is about? Did I have to just kind of get a... Was it like Gran Turismo? I just had to kind of get a license before I could race? <laughs> okay, yeah, I do. I have to set the cars up again. So this is an actual race. So I guess for this bit we need... Yeah, that car. It goes around there to that one. we we'll do that car. Can we do the same car? I guess we must have to do the same car twice because we can't afford another one. Because I really would rather... I mean, it doesn't suggest we can. Does that undo? Oh, hello. So how do we do that then? Do I have to buy a fourth car? <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, I can just start without assigning it. Maybe we'll just continue with the previous car. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, as I was saying before I got stuck. Alright, now we're racing. Okay, this is the proper race now. We're with other people. Yep. And I've got to do manual gears. <clears throat> but fortunately, the, the gears work really well. So yeah, okay, so I guess this is kind of a... Oh, hello. Yeah, Mario Kart style racer. Oh, hello. And I guess those are bits you can pick up to improve your car or maybe repair it. Hello, why am I... Oh, right. Okay. It's my faster cars now. Here we go. <laughs> I guess I'm last, but, you know, that's fine. You just completely wallop some off the road, so it's all good. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's very controllable. This is obviously not very realistic. It's very arcadey, but I've got no problem with that, personally. Hello. Uh. So yeah, it's I don't know what you say about it really. It's a it's an interesting take on the game. The menus are I guess tricky to get through, but once you understand kind of what's going on, it's not so bad. Oh yeah, I oh, know, so it is like a Mario Kart style thing. So how do I fire? Oh, there we go. That's it. Right, okay, so the C button fires, right. <laughs> so it's very much a kind of a Mario relay race, which is, uh, I mean, it's intriguing. To be fair, I said this this car was manual transmission. I've uh, I put it in the fourth gear and I haven't changed since. It doesn't seem to be causing any problems. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, bugger. Drop some more behind us. Oh, okay, yeah, so... <laughs> Don't forget though, we have to do the gears. There we go. <laughs> right, so yeah, it's it's an interesting little game. But uh, yeah, the, the menu structure is a little tricky to get through. Once you've got through it though, then it's kind of fine. 
I'm guessing if I'd have understood that the little swirl icon being red meant that I needed to do stuff there, it probably wouldn't have been as bad. <laughs> I think I came second. I think that's what that middle number is saying. Oh, God, you see fried things. Yeah. Don't need a replay. That's fine. Okay, you know what? The replay can play while I'm finishing up. <laughs> it's an interesting take on a racing game. Very cutesy little graphics. Uh, quite simple, really, I guess. But it's the Saturn, the Saturn was okay at 3D, but not early on and not great the music's nice and bouncy and poppy I quite like it and uh, it controls really well the whole relay thing is interesting I guess later tracks will probably have different types of surface and that maybe will make a difference I don't know how much of a difference I say the racing is quite arcadey anyway the steering is very once you you turn you literally turn so there's no didn't seem to be any drifting or anything like that going on and you've got the added functionality of uh, Mario Kart style weapons, so <laughs> what's not to love? Um, it's alright, you know? It's obviously it's Japanese, so if you haven't got a Japanese Saturn, you'll have to find a way of playing it. I've got a hacked action replay, which lets me play import games. There are obviously other ways of doing it. But, um,. Yeah, if you can get it and you can play it, it's probably worth picking up. I don't think it'll be that expensive. It's not a particularly rare game. And it's fun. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, then please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.